Look at her dancing Look at the way she smiles Look at her romancing me Good morning, believers. She does it to me all the time. Good morning, Israel. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. That's why I love her. She's so deep. Bolsa Chica State Beach. Beautiful Huntington Beach. In beautiful surf city. Huntington Beach, California. Welcome, believers. Welcome, Israel. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. Welcome to the channel, new subscribers, old subscribers, Jewels of the Nile, Moto X, my brother, Jay Hall, my roommate. We're talking about repentance and forgiveness and uh, self-recognition, self, what do they call it? Let me put this down. Self ideal idealization. You are, you're trying to, we're trying to raise our frequency. How do we do that? We protect our energy. We know who we are. We know where we're going. We know where we're from. And we walk accordingly. We, we keep ourselves. This is, this is what I'm working on. This is what I'm working on. I don't know. I think everyone should work on this too. Getting to that place where you're very kind to yourself. <laughs> very kind to yourself. And you're kind to others. But you're also really strong. And you don't let others be unkind to you. You know, you know what you've done. You've know, you know what your low points are. You know where you're vulnerable and you protect yourself in those areas because you're aware of it. You recognize it. The, the repenting. I'll, let me see. Where is it now? I lost it. Oh, here it is. Recognize. These are the seven biblical maneuvers to change your mind, to repent, to change your heart. Change your, your mind and your heart in the Hebrew is the same, same thing if some of you don't know that yet. When you say mind, change your mind, it's the word is lob in Hebrew. And that is heart. So when you change your heart, you change your mind. It's the same thing. You're changing. You're not just changing your thinking. You're changing your the way you feel about it. So when these black Hebrew niggerites try and tell you he's all up in his emotion, no, he's in it. He's in. He's emotional because something's wrong. Your emotions are there to tell you something's wrong. When you get that gut feeling, that's when you know something's off, and you need to step back. Protect yourself. Get in the stance. Listen. Watch. Fucking stay still. Listen to the Lord and go, wait a minute. Why do I feel this way? Don't let that person distract you away from staying in your stance. Because that's what's happened to me. I've been, I'm easily distracted if you haven't noticed. So when I try and get in my stance... I'm easily shaken out of my stance and that's, I'm learn. I'm trying to learn to, whether I'm drunk, whether I'm stoned, whether I'm sober, whether I'm happy, whether I'm sad, whether I'm irritated, stay in my stance, learn to stay still, focus, block out the outside. It's part of your repenting. You recognize there's something wrong. You feel the sorrow. You feel the pain. You feel something's wrong. You forsake it. You learn. You you identify it, and you go, "This ain't gonna fly with me." That's a no go. No go. Confess your sin. I should have never been by 
so close to that devil. I should have never walked into that situation not knowing the pitfalls. Why did I walk in there so innocently? Um, you're confessing. Why Why am I so innocent? Why do I trust? Why, what do I want so bad that I trust this devil? I blew it. 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 Stop pointing your fingers. You blew it. I blew it. I told my son, I, he's like, why don't you do this, Dad, or do that, Dad? I have a house. I could, I could be making moves. Why, why isn't J.D. Niger making moves? I have to learn to trust myself again. I've blown it so many times. I blew it. Restitution, what am I doing? I'm, I'm giving myself a chance to fix it. I'm giving myself, I'm staying still, I'm staying in the word, I'm, I'm helping teach believers like you, Israel, I'm trying my best to give you what I've learned through all this time that I've walked with God, all this, all this pain I've gone through. Pain, well, <laughs> you understand? A lot of pain, a lot of pain, people. Recognize your pain. Don't just blow it off. Go, oh, I'm fine. It's good if you want to keep moving, if you want to stay in the game. But the whole point is, are you in the game that you should be in? Because that's how I got myself in more and more trouble is by staying in the game because I was so strong. So strong. I'll just... The Lord will take care of me. Yeah, he did. But what did I... What happened in the end? I learned that... Uh, I learned there's a lot of pain involved in um, doing it your own way. So I'm seeking restitution. I'm trying to fix it for myself and for my family, and it's working. I'm being honest. I'm, I'm recognizing where I went wrong. I'm trying not to dwell on it, but I'm also staying aware of it. And I'm forgiving the others of their sins. Um, I can't... I can't help Melanie if she doesn't apologize. I can't. She. We cannot. We can. We can. Can't move anywhere. There's no movement for us anymore until she comes and I see true repentance, change of heart. She, she's got to come crying, fucking feeling the sorrow, recognizing what she's doing. She's not. It's not going to happen. The the cluster B personality disordered people, the borderlines, the narcissists, and the um, antisocial. If you have any of those traits that are beyond the normal DSM recommended um, amount, you are going to have toxic personality. And so Melanie... A lot of these narcissists, they're not, they can't change themselves. They have, that's a personality disorder. And that's why we see these demons out here. They're not, these demons are, are in people and they're not letting them recognize sin. They're not letting them open their eyes and realize Judas Iscariot isn't my problem. I'm my problem. King Saul isn't my problem. I'm my problem. GMS isn't my problem. I'm my problem. They're assaulting you with, with their carnality. They're there. They're in your world. They're, they're manifesting. But what's that do to you? That's, the, that's where the repentance comes in. Um, and then keep the commandments. What's the commandment? Love your God. That means stay in communication with him. Ask him all the time. What? What is going on? I am fucking feeling crazy. And when you ask him, he'll tell you. You're hanging around with a personality disordered person. The, the person you're with, they're not right. They have demons.
And that's where the love comes in. Do you love, are you, or do you love yourself to go, Lord, what, what's going on here? You, you want love so bad that you're, you're letting that demon puppet you. You want, you want success so bad. You want to be so much like me that you're saying oddball things to people because you want to sound like you're, you've got it. You join G. Why are you in GMS, JD Nija? Uh, because I want to be a part of a group of people that believe in you. Those people don't believe in me, JD Nija. Can't you tell? Look at them. What? Oh crap! Was that scary? That was scary. Believing in Black Hebrew Israelism. Oh my God. It's obvious that shit's wrong. Anyway, let's let's get some scriptures on this. So I pulled up a couple. Not a, not a lot. I just wanted to make sure I did. I I get this. God, man, I'm just drooling all over myself. I want you to understand, so that so that we can all get better. We can all see the difference between. A person who has changed their mind or these black Hebrew niggerites that they're never going to change. They're stuck in their place. These Catholics, they're, they're under a spell. You churches, you, you denominational Bible believing churches, you are in the one, one of the most wonderful positions. If you're in a Bible believing church and your pastor cares, that's the best place for you to be. And then, Learn about Israel. Learn about your Bible. Learn about your your Savior and what that means to be under Israelite authority. Because that's how it's going to be in the end. There's going to be... It's all going to be under that umbrella in some way or another. So let's go to Genesis 6.6. 6. I pulled up four. It's interesting because um, Genesis 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. This talks about when God was sick of man. He repented that he made us. Genesis 6, 6, 6. <laughs> and there were giants. <laughs> Let's go to four. And there were giants in the earth in those days. Nephilim. There were, there were angels that mixed with the seed of man. Not jo not big people. Let's. <sighs> and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Back to that for a minute. There were no giants. These people weren't bigger. They were of a different dimensionality. They were, they were powerful in a way that we don't understand. And so the only way the Bible can explain it to us now is they were big. They were big, but they weren't big that way. They might have actually been smaller for all we know. But the power that they had was fucking immense. You're looking at one right now, so figure that out. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. What happened? A lot of jealousy. There was two different types. There were the watchers and there were the men. And that, there was nothing there was nothing good going on there because everyone was confused. Why do they get to be powerful? And then we're seeing the same thing today. Why do they know? Why don't they know? Why don't I know? Why how come they act that way? Well how come Evil, that's what we're seeing. That's what wickedness is. We aren't all on the same page. But we will be. We're all going to be of the same heart and same spirit. So this is a good example of why you need things need to change. There was too much jealousy. There was too much wickedness. There was too much mixing of good and bad. It was all, it was all fucked up. And that had to do a lot with... 
folks like me that were coming down here to do one job and we ended up fucking doing a whole nother job. So when it says, and they, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That's the bad heart. That's the bad, that's where you need to repent. There's something wrong here. It could have went either way. The angels could have repented and said, we are not going to keep fucking with these earthly women. The earthly women could have said, we can't fuck with these angels. We have to stay away from them. We have to tell them no. We have to make them accountable. But it was all it was all good. Everyone's all good with it. And no one's going, man, we gotta knock this off. The imagination. Every imagination, that's what I'm talking about. Your mind is where your your intent or thought. What's your intent? Where is your intention? Are you trying to, am I trying to get Melanie to love me even though she never will? Am I so craving love that I'm going to let her treat me like a piece of fuck even though I'm a fucking powerful spiritual being? That's wickedness. That's, I need to repent of that. I need to say, I will not allow that. Do you understand? So this is a beautiful scripture. And then the next verse. So you understand imagination is your, that's what you're thinking. So when, when I say these black Hebrew Israelites have vain imagination, they, they have a vain means nonsensical. It has no meaning. It's meaningless. It's, it has no profit, vain imagination. They have thoughts in their mind that are wicked. And the same thing about Saul, they say, the same thing about the Gentiles. They have all these wicked thoughts in their head because they're sick. They're just sick in the mind. They're, they're sick. They actually might believe it, but that doesn't mean it's true. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. How many times did it say heart? Because repenting means changing your mind. He changed his mind. He might, he's like, why did I make these, these lower beasts? Why did he make man? He had angels. He had, he had, he had a lot of people worshiping him already. I was there. I've been there forever. And so that's why I say, I don't know if, I don't know if everyone's regenerated. I don't know if you churches are actually regenerated or if you just come with the ability to know God, but you don't really have the the history to know God. And so I don't know how that plays in. I'm trying to figure that out because there's there's a difference here between the giants and the, the Nephilim and the fucking sons of men, right? But we're not going to get into that because that's that's where we're going, but... It's not given yet. And it repented. 6-6. Six, six. The Lord was sorry. Does GMS have the ability to go, I am one fucked up nigga. What the fuck is wrong with me? I think these, I think JD Nyjah is trying to help me. JD Nyjah. Jeff Deloach, dude, as Israel, we recognize that you're telling the truth. We're sorry that we're going out here leading these people. People, we're sorry. Rakakwadash, you fucking, you Hawashai believers. No, that's not right. I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't realize how fucked up I was. Are they going to do that? No, because they don't, they don't have any emotion. They don't have any feeling. What's it say? He was sorry. It grieved him. He was sad. He was crying. The Lord was sad. Oh, you're all up in your emotions, J.D. Nigel. Yes, I am, motherfucker. You fucking pieces of shit. GMS motherfuckers. You haven't seen sh nothing yet. Let's get another one. I'm not going to just sit here. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. The face of the earth. It's not a ball. 
fucking get over that one too, people. We're not on no spinning web ball rocket. It's a flat fucking face. Both man and beast and creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repented me that I have made them. This is what the Lord said. I'm fucking s so sorry I made these fucking sorry fuckers. What's it say? It repented me. Verse 7. I am sorry. I am repentant. I need to fix this. I need to. All those things that we went into, those are all the things that he's thinking of. He recognizes it. Holy cow. He recognizes it. He's feeling sorrow. He's got it. He's confessing it. He said it. I'm sorry. He's seeking restitution. He's like, I'm going to have to destroy him. And then what happens? He forgives. He forgives Israel. He forgives the angels for stepping out of line. He forgives man for being attracted to angels. To that spiritual beauty. He's like, fuck, man. I set that up. I set that up for that to happen. And now I have to take responsibility for it. Why did Jesus come? To take responsibility for, for his fuck up. The Lord's all powerful, all knowing. He's saying, this is how you forgive. Watch me. Watch me send my only begotten son, GMS, you fucking niggas. Fucking hate you fuckers. You guys don't get it. You have no love in your heart. Fucking drives me nuts. Do you understand, believers? Oh, my God. I hate, I don't like these guys at all. I don't like their doctrine. I don't like their wickedness. I don't like their whole fucking thing. Man, at least you, you churchies, you guys got it made, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. God loves you. I don't have that anymore. I don't have that. I, I, maybe he's going to send me back to the church. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's one of my next moves. I don't know. It's painful for me to go into the church sometimes. Um, Exodus 32, 14. Hope you're enjoying this lesson. This is, this is powerful shit, people. Um, Moses intercedes for the people. So what do you do? What do you do when you're um, repenting? You're, you're standing up in a place where everyone can see you. You're, you're making prayers. That's why I'm here. I pray for you every day. I pray for us. We're in fucking deep shit. Um, and Moses besought the Lord, his God, and said, Lord. He didn't say, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. He said, Lord. He said, power. Power. Why does thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why are you mad? Because you motherfuckers weren't supposed to be fucking with these other nations. I made you different. You were you were supposed to be angelic. You are supposed to be watching. You were supposed to be taking these people under your dominion. And what'd you do? You started diddling them. And sticking your, sticking your fucking hot rod in them. And causing all kinds of fucking melting, defiled, mutant bullshit. Right? Moses is going, what? why are you so pissed? Because between you fuckers and those fuckers, those nations and you, you guys are just... Ugh! Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them in the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people. What was lo the Lord trying to do? He's trying to make restitution. He's trying to fix it. And Moses is going, so you you brought us out of away from them so that we couldn't diddle with them anymore. We can't, there's not going to be any intermixing anymore. You brought us, you're separating, you're making us holy. You're making me holy again. Holy angel, a saint. You're making us holy again. But what, the Egyptians are going, Ha, 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 ha. Those fucking guys thought they were something else. 
their God is all this and all that. They're, he's probably going to go out there and fuck them up. They're the ones that caused all this problem, not us. Those Israelites, they used their power to fuck with us, and we fucked with them back, and now their God's fucking with them too. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Get it? That's wickedness. Moses saw it. He's like, what? What are you doing? I don't understand. That's why repentance and restitution and cleaning up your mind and your heart, changing your mind. How do you change your mind? You don't look at the other as the problem. You are the problem. You need to figure out what the fuck's wrong with you. And that's why these narcissists cannot make it. That's why they they don't know what they don't know. That's why GMS is going to just fall how they fall. They, they can't change. Let me continue. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants. What have I been preaching, people? I'm here to serve you. I'm here. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou swear by the by your own self, and said unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. You are the land. Didn't he say we are the land? Didn't he say? And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. Moses said, didn't you, didn't you make us a promise? Didn't you promise us that if we went and watched over these fucking beasts, that you would, that you would, you would give us something? You would give us, you, we would be your people. We would be the land. We, we would be the authority. Everyone would have to walk on us, past us, through us before they go anywhere. That was the difference between the Nephilim and the fucking sons of men. We were supposed to be the gatekeepers. We were supposed to be the watchers. We were supposed to watch over the souls of these simple beasts out here. I don't know who they are. I'm, I'm It's confusing. All I know is who I am. That's all I'm worried about right now. I got to figure out myself. You need to figure out yourself. Do you understand? This is deep shit. I fucking wake up every morning going, what the fuck am I going to teach? What happens? This kind of shit. Awesome. Awesome. This is, this is something I can, I can go into my weekend now going, motherfucker. I have a long walk to take to, right now. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to bring upon his people. 14, let's see what it says. Relented from the harm. So what, what? Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. When you're repenting, when you're changing your mind, what did I change my mind from? I stopped harming Kimberly. I stopped going there and making her think that just because I loved a fucker and loved her per wet vagina and sucking on, you know, I love that. I love the way she gave her body to me. I loved it. Was it good? Was it was it fair? It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair to me. It wasn't fair to her. I had to sleep in dog hair. Um, I had to act in ways that weren't really me. I tried the, my best to be myself. And... Maybe it can maybe it can get fixed. Maybe I can change my heart and say she's a good person or whatever, right? So the harm. I'm trying to get rid of the harm. There's harm going on here. Melt me and Melanie. Sorry, sis. 
this is, I got to bring you up. I got to talk about you because I'm confessing what's going on here. If you're listening, you're listening. I love you. In ways that I never loved Kimberly. So we had to stop the harm. I was harming myself. And that's why it says right there, he repented. He stopped doing harm. So what, what would we want? Hold on. 